Hi, this is Trey Pass. I'm going to do a reaction to uh, Stargirl Season 2, Episode 8. I'm loving this season so far. I know a lot of people, some people don't like, they don't think it's as action-packed and think because it's on CW, the budget is low. But I think this is a great, because they went a different way with the show. So, But I'm loving this show so far. Eclipso is a great villain, to, in my opinion. So let's get my reaction to this, and Episode 8, and I'll be right back. Okay, let me put my headphones in. Okay, here we go right now. Go. I think that is the teacher from the other one. Well, I thought he was cheating. Yeah. <laughs> Rick. Miss Woods? Mr. Tyler. <laughs> um, happy fourth. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> I wanted to apologize again for Good. accusing you of cheating. <laughs> you came all the way out here to do that? Well, <laughs> no. I put together some college brochures and financial aid information. Good. Who the hell are you? Hello, oh, I'm Miss Woods, one of Rick's teachers. <laughs> well, you're trespassing, lady, so why don't you get your ass off my property? <laughs> hey, it's Jesus. All right, Rick. Jesus. I'm happy to go Rex. over this anytime. What is that? You'll end up in jail before you end up in college. You son of a. Take the hourglass and beat the crap out of him. <laughs> what did I do? Oh my god, you son of a. Hmm. Shaking the ground, split in the sky. What do you got some more food? Yeah, more food for Grundy. Alright. I am sick of this! Do you hear me? Jesus. I am so tired of giving everything and getting nothing back. I'm tired. Hey, where are you going? Hmm. I want to go talk to Yolanda. Yeah, good idea. I couldn't sleep all night. Hmm. She's my best friend, Mom, and I dragged her into this. By giving her time. Huh? Yeah. No, no, it's, it's terrible advice. You help <laughs> her by kicking Eclipso's ass. <laughs> There's no way it wasn't him that did it. <laughs> and who's to say what he's going to do next? Of course he wouldn't ring the bell. Who for no Jr. Oh, she returned the costume. Beth, right? Yep. Confidential. Hello? <laughs> Who is this? Dr. McNighter. This is Beth. <laughs> Beth Chapel. We spoke before, remember? <laughs> you warned me about Eclipso. <laughs> Hello? What are you doing with my goggles? I found them. <laughs> I just turned 16 in May, but <laughs> I am very trustworthy. I think they've seen me. I need to keep moving. What? <laughs> Where are you? 
I'm in the shadow. Whoa! Was that a clip so? Oh my god, uh oh. That's right, he was outside the house. Be careful, Beth. My uncle got him because he wanted a fight dog. Mm. Treated him terribly. Made him worse. So one day, I told Matt that Jax ran away. But really, mm. I took him over to Oakville and I found him a new home. There you go. They loved him. Maybe you just need someone to be a little kind. There you go. <laughs> ah, okay. Well, let's pat on the back. <laughs> yeah, he does understand. Ah, get an apple too. There you go. Of course he understands. She'll be back for it. Yes. Yeah, she has to heal. Hi. Staff. I wish I knew how to help you too. Not only because I think you have the power to stop Eclipso, but because you're my friend. Ah, uh, okay. So you responded. never here this time of day hmm. your father and I thought we should finally talk about the divorce uh. you made lunch when your mother and I first got together Beth we fell in love at first, first... sight uh. <laughs> but when you were born, we made the decision to focus on you. Hmm. Because... Because... Because of you, Beth. What? Get out of here. Look at that. Ugh. That's a clip of messing with her. Whoa. Beth, I know Whoa. you're upset, but that's no reason... Did you see that? See what? Oh. So I'm messing with her. I have to go. Beth, you oh. come back here. Got to vent your frustrations. You should be cool. You should be cool now. But of course, it's not gonna. <laughs> but hey, I've got kids that play in those woods. So a big thanks to the Blue Valley Hunters Association who volunteered to get out there and kill the bear. They've requested oh. everyone who's willing to be able to join in on the hunt. You gotta warn Simon Grundy. I don't know about you folks, but I'm gonna grab my shotgun and get me a bear. <laughs> Buddy boy. Both a little banged up, aren't we? <laughs> Pat. What are you doing here? We need to do hmm. something about Cosmo. Who's okay. Cosmo? The staff. You named the <laughs> staff. You named the robot. <laughs> no, you did. Ah! Whatever. <laughs> Listen, the JSA were all about being ready at the right time, not rushing in totally disorganized. You gotta be patient. Yolanda quit. Eclipso is free. Yep. Things are out of control and, and no one's safe and I, I feel completely useless. And, uh, you know, maybe we can figure something out that... Hold on. <laughs> Speak of the devil. <laughs> hey, Rick. Pat. Grundy needs our help. Uh oh. <laughs> I 
I don't think Cosmo has more than one or two shots in him. <laughs> if we run into Grundy... And you need to make him count. Exactly. Make him count. Hello? Hello? Mike? Mr. Dugan? Uh oh, that's a clip so probably messing with her. Hi. Oh my god. My heart. <laughs> Could you speak? Jesus. Who are you? I'm Bruce. <laughs> Bruce. The clip so. <laughs> are you gonna steal something? Oh man. You're Beth Chapel, and you're a liar and a thief. Oh. You don't know me. I know you're kind. Oh. I know you stole these. Oh, you man. You lied about being a friend of Courtney. Then you stole these. <laughs> Those goggles are mine. Liar. You lied again. <laughs> oh, man. You little bastard. Little bastard. Might not be the best idea. Turn on the lights, man. <laughs> oh boy. Oof, take a deep breath. Ah, not very uh, smart, are you? The staff yeah. chose Courtney. Courtney chose Yolanda. Rick's dad chose him. But no one chose you. I mm. thought you people were athletic. Oh! Yes, some of the stereotypes are wrong. Racist! Oh! <laughs> Whoa, whoa, whoa. You need to get out of here, kid. What happened? Something hit him. And it was no bear. Now worse, a girl's oh. gone missing. Oh. What? Ten year old. Disappeared from her family's horse farm. It's not safe for anyone! Mm. <laughs> whoa. whoa. <laughs> Jesus. Turn on the light, Beth. What? Wildcat? How'd you get in here, kid? Huh? Wildcat? Are you lost? I think she is, oh. boys. You don't belong here. What? One of these things is not like the other. <laughs> You're all wrong. Wrong age. Wrong gender. Wrong color. How come we haven't seen anyone? Yeah. No hunters. Or Rick. I was wondering the same thing. Calypso. Yeah, because he should have caught up with them by now. Is that really Grundy or is that Eclipso still? Grundy! Can't tell. Grundy! How long he's been running? Uh oh. Grundy? Grundy? Are you okay? Uh oh. Jesus. No. Did you kill her? <clears throat> Did you kill her? Hopefully that's not real Grundy. Rick, it could be a clip I'm gonna kill you! Oh. Grundy! Rick! Jesus. Oh, man. 
Jesus. Oh man. Oh. Jesus. Oh. oh. Holy crap. Okay, that is a clip so now. Okay. Okay. That's a clip so. Grundy didn't kill him. Two places at one time. <laughs> Turn the lights on. <laughs> you can pretend to be brave, but you're not. You don't know anything. I know everything about you, Beth. I'm a friend of Courtney's. Does this mean I get a costume? No worries. Ignore us like you usually do. <laughs> See, that's my lot. <laughs> Behind those glasses, you're just a scared little girl. What are you afraid of? Hmm. Don't turn around. Nothing! Whoa! You're the weakest among them, and you know it. Born from nothing, destined to be nothing. Whoa. Funny girl. You don't know what you're doing. That's not Grundy. Rick, stop! <laughs> don't tell me that's who I think it is. The illusions. So he said it's not Pat, it's not Grundy. Oh, man. Yep, his <laughs> uncle. Yep. He beat the living crap out of him. Oh man. Jesus. Things are going to hell. into the group as you've done all your life. No one chose you. That's what you need me to do? Give in to my worst fear? That I'm an outsider? I won't. I'm strong, proud, and I chose myself to be Dr. Midnight. I chose me! And I love being black. Ah! <laughs> ah, okay. Oh, man. She is so cool. Uh, Rick. Rick. What did she do, Rick? He gave in. Damn, the clip's so small. He can, he's up on me. At the same time, two plays at once. Jeez, he is powerful. Jesus. Jesus. Going to jail. Jesus. Oh, man. I don't know how they're going to get him out of that. 
Jesus. The police. Oh man, Rick, I said, I don't know how he comes back for that, but damn, it clips was good. He was doing a thing with Rick and Beth at the same time. He was doing a twofer. Jesus. Yep, that was the ambulance. I was watching him. Huh. Do you had your vision seeing what it looks to you? Talk to McNighter? Do huh. not take off the goggles. Hmm. What? They'll let you see through Eclipso's visions. <laughs> so the goggles saved my life. No. Yep. You did. Ah. <laughs> that database <that'd be> updated. <laughs> Hello? So sorry about earlier. Earlier? Mm. What are you talking about? We haven't mm. been here all day. See? There you, you go. Dad, we're in the living room. Mm. Why? Because of what someone said? <laughs> well, yeah. Mm. <laughs> he had been working in this town for over 50 years? Mm. And um, people loved him with good reason. Of course. But they didn't know what to make of me. Well, I did my job the best I knew how. Mm. I helped heal some people, saved a few lives. Okay. <laughs> Delivered a lot of kids. She mm. worked harder than anyone. Mm. You'll work hard because that's what this family does. And don't let exactly. anyone, no matter what they look like, tell you any different exactly no one yes <laughs> thanks no clips though <laughs> come here sweetie <laughs> uh. mm. rick thought he saw hunters and mm. solomon grundy killing a child be here for them when they get back of course I can do that I'm here for you too mom ah you called a mom thanks mom uh, what the hell is that is it snowing that's frost uh oh okay that was Man, Eclipso ain't no joke. He was messing around with two of them at the same time. I thought he was just going to be messing around with Beth, and I thought maybe Rick's story was a separate, you know, that was a separate story with Solomon Grundy, him befriending him because Rick has been put through the ringer and stuff, and his uncle's still there, and what, I still a dick. Oh, man, but I, but Eclipso, that was Eclipso out there in the woods, too, messing with, so he really wants to break apart this young justice society. He already split Wanda off, and now Rick is going to jail, but at least Beth, kudos to breath for standing up to him basing his stuff and he tried to use every dirty trick saying she was not worthy and stuff she was a thief you know calling her you know using stereotype typical things against against you know black people to her oh man but i'm glad she she fought back i'm proud of Beth. she fought back and she took her goggles away from him and so now he failed with her now i'm wondering if she's you know she should go to courtney and i'm gonna tell him listen courtney when she found out about Rick too, and I like to see a scene with her visiting Rick in prison, because we you know her and Rick got close to, and seemed like they confided in each other. So I know she's gonna be probably devastated that Rick got locked up again. But any event, um, she said uh, again, talk to, tell Courtney and said, listen, I overcame Eclipso's illusions, so it can be done. So I would, 
I don't know if they can duplicate those goggles, but if you could, I would. A, so everybody can walk around with them, so that way you don't get tricked by Eclipso. But I don't know how they're going to get him back into that diamond. What the, what trick they're going to do? I maybe that may involve with if Starman, you know, Sylvester Pimbleton ever gets to Blue Valley. He's been traveling since last season, so hopefully he can get to the show. When I saw his name in the credits, I thought he was going to be in, but they, he they was, he was just in a in a uh, hallucination flashback. That was him doing, you know, so that wasn't actually the, so the real Sylvester Pimbleton, even though it was nice to see him in um, Wild Dog and uh, a Wildcat, excuse me, Wild Dog, Wildcat and uh, Our Man, you know, the originals. Uh, and, ah, uh, so bad, so bad for Rick. Uh, you see, his uncle, what a piece of crap. The, the teacher came back to apologize to him again and give him colleges and financial aid, give him that information. And this saying you're going to go to jail anyway and tosses the stuff in the air. Boy, he deserved a, boy, he deserves a punch in the head, uh, he, even though he didn't deserve that beat down he got. He, although, like I said, it couldn't happen to a nicer person. What a dick. Uh, but he's in critical condition, so I can't be only so tired. But Rick, you know, like I said, again, that wasn't, that was Eclipso, again, using that illusion power and he was doing it twice man he's good he was because he was messing with beth and doing the thing with rick at the same time so he was oh man i just can't oh, oh. and then you saw at the end there the uh how the window come it's supposed to be summer july and you know why i think it's not eclipso that's doing that because um like i said it's july and i know the weather is supposed to be bad because eclipse is there but not icicle forming on the window and all like that and you see that and they grow and stuff so i wonder if that's really uh what's his name jeez uh jeez i can't remember his name now the other the son of icicle i guess i'll call him that so i remember his name uh but you think that's him the only way it could be him or if that's his i don't think it's his grandparents cameron that's his name right cameron yeah uh it, it gotta be him and the only way and and the only way it could be him is, like I said, if his parents, grand, not parents, if his grandparents told him how his father died, and of course he blames it on them, and and they, whoa, man, I, I can't imagine if that is him. What you think he's gonna to it? Yeah, and Courtney and him are at their lowest too, and I don't know how they're gonna they're gonna fight him off. You know what I do hope happens? While Yolanda and uh, Rick is indisposed, well, those two characters are temporarily indisposed. I wish Jay comes back and we see the debut of Jacob Thun Thunder, Jakeem Thunder. That would be great. You know, this even if they just are you know, temporary members for a, a, a few episodes until Wanda, not one, not Wanda, to Yolanda uh, gets her courage back and you know and face her fears and all that stuff, and you know assume that you know let kick that you know that guilt, the tremendous guilt she feels about that until she can deal with that. I think everything else is you know just going to be the way it is until she deals with that, you know, that guilt that she feels, that tremendous guilt that she feels that, you know, she killed him. And I, like I said, I, I did wonder if uh, that before that it was a brainwave actually put a piece of himself in to her. But now I'm thinking it's, it was Eclipso, obviously, because Eclipso was messing with each one of them uh, individually. So, uh, although he, to this issue, he was doing, it, he was using two hands to mess with uh, Beth and Rick at the same time. So, uh Eclipso was a, ooh. But I'm glad Beth prevailed, and like I said, tell Courtney so that way she can be ready and she can say, "Listen, uh, you know, Zach, we got to stick together." And now we know Eclipso is only trying to prey on your weaknesses. You can be ready for him, okay? And I wonder if again, like Sylvester Pimbleton, the real one, ever will get to Blue Valley, okay? Because he's been traveling forever. So hopefully he gets off his butt and gets into Blue Valley before the season finale, because that'll be a real ripoff that. He showed up in a season finale of season one and then shows up again finally in the end of season two. That be bogus. I want to see at least an episode or two with him there and him, you know, again, giving uh, Courtney the green light or the blessing so you can carry the staff with, with you and stuff. That would be great to her to get. And also, like I said, we have um, the Flash uh, coming, you know, the, you know, from the Justice Society, too. He's going to, John Wesley sn sn ship. He's going to be in this episode as well. So I can't wait to, see, uh, well, not, you know, upcoming episodes. So, so we got five left because I think it's going to be thirteen episodes. So we got five episodes left. So hopefully, like I said, in a, I like a, my dream scenario is that Jackie Thunder and Jay comes back and help them vanquish uh, 
Eclipso because he's a and they rescued Doctor McNiter and and uh, even even Cindy even though she don't deserve it. Okay, wherever she went. Okay, but that's my opinion. I love this episode. Uh, again, like I said, some people again don't like the theme theory. They think everything's kind of dreary, but I think that's the whole point of it. That's you know, you know, they had the big triumphant moment, but this episode, this season has been all about. You know, Eclipso coming, you know, and, and the lead up to that great fight they had in, in episode six. But this whole thing is about a different tech. Now that they're heroes, they have, you know, they now they're facing a different challenge, a terrifying challenge, but a challenge nonetheless. And we'll see how they come out from the other side on this, which I have no doubt they will do. But we will just see how that happens. Anyway, let me know what you think of this episode eight, uh, chapter eight of Summer School, uh, Stargirl season two. OK, I'll leave a link. Uh First, excuse me. First, please, please give this video a thumbs up. It helps the channel, and I greatly appreciate it if you could do that. And also, um, I have links to my social media in the description box. I got Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram in the description box, as well as a link to my patron channel down below. Uh, check that out. And I want to say a special thank you to my patron. His name will appear in this video somewhere. I want to say a special thank you to him for supporting me. And I want to say again, my patrons only five dollars a month. Tons of content on there. The Boys Season 2, Mandalorian Season 2, WandaVision, Loki. I got uh, uh, Titan Season 3, uh, Doom Patrol Season 3 so far, uh, both of those shows. And uh, there's tons of content to come. So, uh, again, follow the link below to my page. Only $5 a month to support me. And please give this video a thumbs up again. And this is Trey Pass saying so long and take care.